Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla. Um, my sign name is Kayla. Um, so today we're going to be talking about me and all my favorite subjects. Um, so today we're going to be talking about like how I became me and my hearing loss. I've gotten a lot of questions about my hearing and like everything. Whatever. It doesn't matter. So we're going to start before I was born. Um, I have a mom, dad, uh, oh, I was going to say younger, <laughs> older brother. Um, my older brother is a year, almost two years older than me. Um, but my mom was pregnant with me and she was holding my brother and she tripped and fell f and to make me not be born like early she got like an injection from the doctors and that caused my hearing loss um even before i was born um so when i was born i passed all the hearing tests um which is like obviously really common for when like children are born in the hospital um to see if they're like blind or like deaf whatever um then I grew older and my parents saw that um wow maybe she is deaf I don't know <laughs> like she's not like hearing anything like they would go behind me and clap and like usually babies would like react like you know but I did nothing and it wasn't because I was like a great baby um so I've been in and out of um, ENTs, which is um, ear, nose, and throat doctor, um, my whole life right now, 21, 21 years, Woo! Um, and it got progressively worse, so, which sucks, it sucks, um, when I was about nine, I think nine, yeah, nine, I, um, got hearing aids. I don't have them right now. I have a box. <laughs> They're downstairs. <laughs> um, and I hated them for, I still don't like them. Like, it's not something, like, I enjoy wearing. I don't like the attention that it brings. Um, and I don't like hearing. Like, I just don't enjoy it. It's just loud, the background noise, whatever. Um, but, like, I do go to college and like listening to like the teachers is kind of hard now especially with the mask so i do like wear my hearing aids a lot more than i would um so basically yeah that was kind of like a huge summary of me i know that was like really fast and a lot of people just like not really understand um but yeah, basically, like no one really understands why I have um like a hearing deficit. Um, they like think like they don't know, but they kind of think that it was because when my mom fell and they got the medication that it kind of messed with my hearing. It was like a side effect. Um, and then just progressively like the years go by and everything that my just hearing kind of just like stopped and kind of just got worse um I know a lot of people are saying like you're not deaf you're hearing I can talk I know I did talk about this but like I'm gonna do like a like a video again on it that I went to speech therapy for oh my god 12, 13 years of my life, hated it, I still can't pronounce words, like, monopoly, I'll put the words up here, like, in the text, actually, I don't know how to do it in specific areas, so, like, they're gonna be somewhere, um, monopoly, simamum, and jewelry, um, just some words I can't pronounce, I don't have, like, a deaf accent, which a lot of people are saying, why are you teaching ASL, like, you're hearing, like, no, not all deaf people can't talk. Um, not all hearing people can talk. So, check yourself. But, um, I actually have a service dog. She does kind of help me a little bit with hearing. She's not for 
hearing and a lot of people who are deaf have balance issues and it's something in their cochlea. Um, I do, but she's not for that. I'm actually trying to train her for more hearing stuff um, just to alert me for emergency vehicles when I'm driving because I can't hear them and it puts me in an unsafe situation or clearly puts them in an unsafe situation since I need to pull over. Um, but like that's some of the tasks that service dogs can do for deaf people. Um, but yeah, it's really not that exciting. Um, my hearing, let me talk a little bit more about my hearing loss and how it affected my life. Um, in school, it's been really hard since teachers, like students, um, they like don't think that like, I don't think they understand or like they don't think that I have a hearing loss. I know like my boyfriend, um, some of my friends, like close friends, I don't think I have like or I'm deaf or hard of hearing because I talk to them and like I always look straight on to them. So I read their lips. I read the people's lips all the time. Um, and I know it's really hard for them to like kind of understand that like I'm not like a normal deaf person but I feel like a lot of deaf or hard of hearing people are always like it's not a category like people kind of see someone as a disability and I think like oh deaf people must look like a certain way or they must be like in a wheelchair something happened to them like no that's not how it works um but like it's kind of hard being hard of hearing and still kind of talking uh, because people don't believe me which is so hard and annoying and I also saw this comment about this little boy um he was 11 I think and how he tells his parents that he like can't hear and I guess they don't believe him and it might be because he does talk but it's just hard on parents to know that their kids have a disorder or something is wrong with them um i don't see if something is wrong it's so frustrating sometimes i get really mad at myself because i have to say what what did you say what can you repeat that again um there's days that i hate it and like i know i preach about loving it and everything but there's days that are really really hard i remember like crying the other day in school because my teacher sent the disability center six six yeah six articles on why she doesn't have to accommodate me with the clear masks because she knows i could talk and like i think she just thought like i was lying or something i don't know and like i couldn't understand her she had an accent and it was really really heavy accent and i was just crying because like it would have been easier if i can hear right but at the same time like i can't change it and I just need to embrace it. And if I can help like that little boy, um, at least help him, it kind of makes me feel better because not everyone as lucky as I am that I got hearing aids and my parents are amazing and helping me. Um, my mom and dad has always been like, you gotta wear your hearing aids. No one really cares. Kids, yeah, kids are mean, but like once they grow up, you'll be okay. Um, so I'm lucky to do that or have that. So that's why I want to give back and just be more teaching ASL and like trying to make myself feel better about it at the same time. Yeah, I don't really know where this like video kind of went, but whatever. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. I hope I get to see you next time. Um, uh, comment, like, subscribe whatever if you have a hate comment or a mean comment please leave at home because i will respond and when you leave a hate when someone leaves like a hate comment i get really mad and i will respond with meanness and i don't want to because sometimes people just sound stupid like so stupid so i respond with a stupid answer anyway thank you